Hello everyone, this is Sarah from Allure Star Creations and I'm here with a quick 5 minute, 10 minute project. Now I have to give credit where credit is due for this little project. This idea was actually Wizards. How this came about is right now the dollar store has these adorable little ceramic planters and I was originally going to use these for uh, as they're intended as little planters but no drainage hole and I was looking at them and I'm like they're really cute size to be little organizers so I got my wonder clips in one I've got some my all and a new seam ripper in another and I got to the little hedgehog and I was showing wizard because I'm currently uh, reorganizing my theater sewing room as you can tell um, from all the lovely boxes and stuff around but I was showing wizard and he goes you know he, the little hedgehog, or porcupine, would make a really cute little pin cushion, so <laughs> I'm running with it. I'll probably try this now, see how it goes, then for later I can make them a little bit neater. But, so I went and I got a second little hedgehog. Or porcupine. They say he's a hedgehog. He kind of looks like a porcupine too. So, oh well, he's cute. So, what you are going to need for this project. I have some scrap fabric. Um, this is just stuff I pulled out of my little scrap bin. Um, those are the pins because I bought new pins because my pins are kind of getting icky. You can use whatever container you want for this. Um, I chose the little hedgehog. You could use a favorite mug that has been broken that you don't want to get rid of. You could use like a little flower pot. You could use just about anything that's about this size. He's about four inches, five inches by three inches tall. He's about three inches wide. I need fluff and this, I already had this. Um, you're gonna need your fabric scissors, regular scissors, and I have this cardboard because I want to line around the outside because these are new pins and well, they need to be. The tips, if you hit it against ceramic a lot, you're gonna dull your pins. So, I have those. Oh yeah, and you're either gonna need needle and thread, cause you could hand sew this, or your sewing machine. That's my covered sewing machine right now. So, what I have done is I measured and made sure my little pillow, the length, was going to fit inside whatever container I chose. Little hedgehog. And since I don't want a ton of stuffing up into his nose, I'm actually going, I went and kind of did a little trimming just so I didn't have a whole ton of extra because that's going to create some puckering, which, I mean, I could go back later, but let's try this. Um, so now what I am going to do is I am going to zigzag stitch, a really wide zigzag zag stitch around the outside of my fabric piece. I am going to stop about two inches from the end so I have a space to stuff the little pillow. And then I'm gonna stuff it with all the stuffing I have and then and then I'm gonna close it up. I'll probably shove a little bit of the pillow stuffing 
little bit further that way and then zigzag stitch to close it up. So let's do that. Okie dokie. So, and the reason I'm doing the zigzag stitch is because I want to keep as much fabric as possible available. Okay. So I'm going back stitch. What did I do? Oh. <laughs> Little tip. Yeah. <laughs> Always check your bobbin thread before you start on a project. Don't. So I'm gonna fill that. I'll be right back. All right, I now have a fresh bobbin. So let's go. Wanna make sure you cat both sides of the fabric. Eh, that's icky, but okay. So I've caught both sides of the fabric. Now, where's my stuffing? I put the stuffing down somewhere. I don't, ah, here it is. So now we stuff. Something I forgot to mention. You're gonna wanna make sure that when you choose whatever vessel, you want it taller than your pins. Um, just so you're not hitting the bottom of your the vessel all the time. You can line it with cork, stuff like that, um, just to protect the pins, but mine is longer than the pins. So I'm actually going to now test to see if I made it big enough because I have a very distinct feeling I didn't. Okay. Hmm. Ooh, I have an idea. I have a ton of scrap batting from quilts that I've made, a bunch of different things. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put a little bit at the bottom to bring the level of my pillow up. Now you could, I would maybe redo it. I think that when I chose my scrap, I made it too narrow because you want more height here. That was something falling. I'm gonna that go was check. stuff falling in a bathroom. So, so I am going to stuff some of that and stuff. Ooh, there we go. That's what I wanted. So that'll be perfect. So I'm gonna now close this up. And then I am going to cut the car the cardstock to go around and then stuff everything back in. So I've cut a length of cardstock and I cut little tabs so when I stuff it inside, the cardstock can kind of go around the curves because he's not straight sided. So. That's not the right thing. There's the right thing. Round two and go. There we go. There we are. So let's cut this down. 
little bit. So. There it is. And now, the pillow. And there we go. It's not perfect, but that's okay. I can always do another iteration later. Because there is no failure, only iteration. Thank you, Adam Savage, for that. So now, new pin. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. So yeah, there you go. And since my pins are one, not as long as those other pins, I don't have a chance of hitting the bottom unless I really poke them in. And even if I hit the sides, I'll hit the paper. So, so here we go. My little hedgehog pin cushion. I really, really like this five minute, 10 minute project. So something I might change next time I make this, um, cause I'm gonna make several cushions to go in here cause I can, <laughs> but I'll make, next time I will make the little pillow thicker so it goes inside, fits a little bit better inside this little ceramic hedgehog. So I like that. I like that it's cheap, but this is gonna last me years. Um, it's not plastic. It's cute and adorable. I might, I might glue a little bow here later to make this one a girl or, you know, cute. And then keep one, have them a little pair. I don't know, I'll figure that out later. I hope you do decide to make your own little ceramic pin cushion. If you do, please tag me on social media so I can see your little project. Um, my, I am on Instagram under Alora Star Creations. I'm also on Facebook. So yeah, make your own little pin cushion and then tag me, show you what you did. Um, also, if you have any tips and tricks, comment down below. So I hope you will subscribe and cause I have a lot of fun here. Yeah, I decided to take, I put a little bow on her ear. Yeah. They're the perfect pair. They're so cute. I hope you guys have a wonderful day.